today i'm going to tell you another interesting story that is about two lazy brothers in a state lived two brothers namely tim and george they were slackers since childhood the reason behind their malingering was their lazy attitude whenever they were told to work they used to sleep due to their lazy attitude tim and george's mother was fed up of them she couldn't figure out what she must do to make her kids work hard one day tim and george were resting under a mango tree after some time a mango fall in between them since both of them were feeling extremely lazy none of them made efforts to pick that mango they just kept on staring the mango after some time the minister of the state passed by on seeing the minister tim said to him good afternoon minister we need a favor from you what kind of favor if possible can you please pass me this mango the minister found tim very weird he asked him what kind of favor is this the mango is lying in front of you you can pick it yourself it is not possible for me sir i will have to work very hard to grab it what sort of hard work is this can't you lean your body 2 inches further yes sir this is the only problem who likes to walk you please give us the mango the minister got angry as he disliked the laid back attitude of tim and george he went away without providing mango to them tim and george remained intact in their positions the minister then went to tim and george's place and met their mother i am very annoyed sir i don't know how should i change them if they continue to procrastinate hard work i don't know what will happen in the future you don't worry had i known about them earlier then by now i would have got them sorted in one way or another you just send your kids to the palace tomorrow tim and george's mother told her kids to go to the palace a day afterwards both of them went to the palace the other day and met the king the king said to tim and george i have some special work for you two what is it my king from tomorrow onwards you two will guard one end of the palace since you don't like to do too much of hard work you will be able to do this okay my king as you say but do remember there is a lot of precious material kept in the area that you will be guarding we don't want any sort of miss happening all right sir tim and george then begin to guard the palace but after some time they sat down and slept due to their carelessness that end of the palace got robbed The next morning when they wake up they find the minister standing in front of them the minister yells at them you two lazy lads the king gave you such a small task and you failed to do it now both of you come with me you will be punished for what you have done king's palace has suffered huge loss you two will get death penalty what, what? Death, death penalty, penalty? yes we will play you as bait in front of the lion as soon as they heard the minister both tim and george freaked out as soon as they are presented in front of the lion they bow down to the king and cry out to him please forgive us my king we have made a huge mistake had we been alert and worked with full honesty the robbery could have been avoided we promise that we will never be lazy again the king forgave tim and george as he listened to their pleads so kids from this story we learn a lesson that we must never be lazy